who here has ever learned to ride a bike or tried to learn to ride a bike? All right. I hear some people saying that they've learned if you haven't, someday you will and you'll never forget it. It's one of those things you remember forever. It's just like riding a bike. Um, so when you rode your bike or maybe you were at the playground and you were running so hard and you fell, what happened? What happened when you crashed your bike or you fell? What did you do? You got hurt. Did you scrape your knees maybe? Did you get some boo-boos? Did you cry? Yeah, sometimes we cry when we fall down, right? And what do we, who do we cry for? Who are you crying for to come help you? Mom, Mom and dad, come help. I just got a boo-boo. I just hurt my knee. I fell. And what do they do? They come up beside you on the playground or when you've been riding your bike and they brush the dirt off, right? And they kiss the boo-boo. Sometimes they put a really cool band-aid on it because we all know a cool band-aid makes all boo-boos better. And they say, you're okay. And your tears kind of dry up, right? And then what do you do? You get back on the bike, right? You go back to playing. That's what one of the things parents do is they come and they comfort you when you get some boo-boos. Well, did you know that God also says that he is the God of all comfort and the father of mercy? And in Psalm 22, he says that he keeps track of every boo-boo. He keeps track of every tear that we shed. That means that God also wants to comfort you when you get a boo-boo, or when you have a hard day, or when you're scared, or when you're angry, or when you're sad. God is a God of comfort. And he gives us other people to come and minister his comfort to us. He gives us our parents. He gives us the church to help comfort us when we have boo-boos. And he also gives us a special person in the church to remind us how to do this. And that person is called a deacon. Did you know that um, adults get boo-boos too? Raise your hand if you knew that adults get boo-boos. Did you know that adults cry too when they get boo-boos? Did you know that adults fall off our bikes? Sometimes for adults, what that looks like is losing a job or getting sick where they can't work. But adults get boo-boos too, and they need somebody to come and comfort them and help them. And so God has given his church this special type of person to remind all of us to comfort one another when we have boo-boos. And this person is called a deacon. Can you guys say deacon? Deacon. Deacon. It's maybe a word you've never heard of, but today you're going to meet a deacon. His name is Lane Campbell. He, we are actually going to ordain him today as a deacon, which means we as the church, all of us together, are recognizing that God is calling Lane and has called Lane to this office of deacon to comfort other people, to come alongside people who've had boo-boos, who fell off their bike and need some help. And he's also going to teach us how to do that for one another, too. Because when we see Lane doing it, it reminds us that God has comforted us and helps us to comfort one another. So ordaining means that you're going to see Lane come up here in a minute and make some promises. And we're going to make some promises to him. And then you're going to see us lay our hands on him and pray for him to recognize what God has done in his life. And as we lay our hands on him, um, all of us who are doing that, someone has put their hands on us and prayed for us, and someone put their hands on those people, and someone put their hands on those people, and those people, all the way back to Jesus and the apostles. Isn't that cool? That what we do right now goes all the way back to what Paul and Timothy were doing in the, in the lives of the Philippians when they wrote to the deacons and the overseers. So we're participating in something pretty cool today. And... Um, and maybe when we see what's going on today, it will remind us that God is a God of comfort. And maybe every time you see Mr. Lane, you'll remember that God is a God who wants to comfort you.